and let the one who has no sword sell his cloak and buy one. Alright guys, I want to go over the Ruger SR-22. I've had this gun for a while. Uh, I have did a field stripping, um, breakdown, disassembly, reassembly basically. We have uh, custom holsters that we make. So check those out at defensetraining.org backslash holsters. Alright, back to the video. Uh, for cleaning, and this is a gun I've had 2016's when we got it. And we've used this gun for training and on the low end of ammunition this went through it the round our round count the low end would be probably a hundred thousand rounds uh, the higher end I believe would be two hundred thousand rounds so uh, safe to say we probably got hundred hundred fifty thousand rounds I don't think we have any more than hundred fifty uh, so we're probably balling on that part is counting the number of students that's rented the gun and how many shots they would have shot each uh, per year and that's eight years and this has seen a lot of service so I'm, I'm retiring it today because I went to clean it and I went to oil it and I was doing all that and and I did go ahead I, I actually put some uh, uh, some good grease on it because I'm gonna pack it away we're actually gonna retire it and I'm gonna show you why uh, so I'm gonna disassemble it real quick pull its little lever we'll pop it off throw that over there and I knew it was wearing here uh, because it wasn't locking back and we would check it but after this last time it wore um, and I'm not sure what's going on I'm assuming there's a cavity right in here for maybe weight uh, to cut the weight or something. I don't know, or maybe it's just a bubble from forming. I'm not sure. I haven't reached out to Ruger. I'm not going to um, because I honestly figure that pushing uh, 150 plus thousand rounds uh, in a firearm that's a life that that was a lifetime. So uh, I don't expect them to warranty it or any of that. In fact, I'm not even going to reach out to them. Uh, I'm not even not even going to do it. I had actually bought. Uh, two uh, Walther P22s, the, the Q. I bought two of those. They went on a good sale at one of my local places. Uh, and then, so I got those up really, really cheap. In fact, I got two of those for less than you can buy one of these SR22s. Now, the SR22 is a really good gun for uh, most of you guys that are just looking for something to plink. Uh, this is a good gun. The Walthers are good guns. I just wanted to show you, make sure you check your firearms, guys, um, because I've got that wear here uh, and I've got the little hole right there. Now, again, I don't know uh, how significant that would be however I'm not gonna allow this gun to be on the training platform I'm not gonna allow students to use this gun in other words uh, I always make sure the guns safe um, to use for our students uh, but I knew it was wearing it was not quite this bad the last time I shot it but this last time just really done it in so it uh, you can actually see some real good gouges down in there and it ate that away this last time because the last time I cleaned it this was not here uh, so it must have just really started hitting on that. It must have hit a weak point, uh, seeing as this hole looks like it comes up a little bit. So the hole actually looks like it comes up to about here. So I'm assuming on the last one, I don't know if you can tell, uh, that's probably um, a little better than a sixteenth, uh, that it's actually up here. So it must have hit that um, cavity and just really ripped it back. And then as it did that, it must have just really gouged there. Um, so check your firearms guys, make sure you do it because this is not the only uh, firearm that ever had fail on us after 150 plus thousand rounds. Uh, I did have the original Walther um, P22 fail on it as well, um, but I believe I've already put a video on that where the back end actually had a hairline fracture right here and it, it actually broke apart back here. Um, so your little 22s especially, or any gun really, uh, guys you get, uh, you get 100 plus thousand rounds honestly you get 50 plus thousand rounds you really got to start checking those firearms make sure that they uh, uh, are worth shooting worth uh, you know you, you don't want to take risk especially if you're a trainer uh, like I am uh, in all honesty I would probably shoot this a little more myself but I've already packed it in grease and stuff I'm not going to I'm going to retire it um, but uh, make sure you're uh, checking those firearms keep everything safe I just want to show you this about the uh, Ruger uh, SR-22 alright guys stay safe stay armed Please like, subscribe, and comment on this video below. Thanks.